So we're here at the ID Tech X, and uh, who yes. are you? My name is Max Cool, and I work for uh, VS Particle. And we are, uh, yeah, sorry? And you have a machine right here. Yes, yes, this is our nano aerosol generator. And so we, uh, we, I think what we do, we do a lot what the people at the other side do, but they do it with inks, and we do it with aerosols. So we get rid of the ink. No, no ink. No ink. Aerosol, what is that? Aerosol, aerosol is so, what we make, this, this, this machine is a nano aerosol generator, what it does, you have two electrodes. Metal can be any conductive uh, 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 material, as long as it's solid. Between these two electrodes, we put a high voltage and sparks form. These sparks will evaporate the top of the electrodes. At the same time, we have a gas flowing past and it takes the atoms with it and they form nanoparticles in the gas. So we actually form a mist, a dust of nanoparticles. Sounds dangerous, but if you do it right, you can do it really, really safe. So that's the first gas. step. Gas with nanoparticles suspended. It's like a little acce accelerator. What's, oh. no, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not, not, not an accelerator. No, gas is comes in. Is this something in. that's uh, used a lot in the industry? No, this is a completely new technology. You're the only one who has something like that? Nobody has something like this. No, You're the only no, one? No, 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 no. Yeah? So um, the next step, this gas comes out here and then we deposit it. So we can spray it onto substrates and then these nanoparticles will, uh, they will deposit on the substrates and then you have a very, very pure layer. And one example, for example, in here, this is a nanopore structure which we can print. And this, this is pure because we don't use any organic components. So it's really the argon comes in if you use gold electrodes, for example, you have a gold nanostructure. If you have nickel electrodes, you have a nickel nanostructure. So the whole process is material agnostic. As long as the material is conductive and it is solid, we can turn it into nanoparticles, you can turn it into a nano aerosol, and you can deposit it on a substrate. Do you have some examples of the end so, result? Yeah, for example, so this is uh, silicon chips. And here we did, we wrote gold lines, these are copper lines, we also have silver lines. So this is not the smallest resolution that we can do, this is a few millimeters wide. But we now are working on technology where we can go down to a hundred micron spot and write hundred micron wide lines. So this is a big deal or what? We think it's a big deal, is that's, it gonna that's work? why we're is doing it. Is it working? It is working. But yes, are you yes, yes. printing very intricate things or just lines for now? Nah, so the important thing is we print oh, you're not nano. Printing. Are you, what are you not printing? Yeah, defi define define printing. What is this? Is this printing? Printing. What we see as printing is the fact that it's local. So we can locally, as you see in here, we can locally write lines. But the material is nanostructured. So it has it has a quantum mechanical properties dominate. And if you look, for example, at this porous material, it's extremely sensitive to 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 chemicals, but also to heat. And what you can do, if you take, for example, nickel, and you use oxygen as a gas you can create nickel oxide and really print nickel oxide uh, uh, atmospheric sensors. <coughs> so then you really use the, the, the nanostructure properties to make a novel material. Other things you can do is that this is heated. If you heat these lines, they melt really quickly, already at 200, 300 degrees Celsius. So you can really locally pattern these materials. And so this is the generator we have at this moment. What is down here, the box inside? It's all the software to control and the high voltage software. supply. No, 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 high this, is, this is high hardware. Yeah. But there's a high voltage supply in there. So this is just a generator, which we sell commercially now and globally. But we, we were going bigger. We also want to do the deposition steps. We really want to be a nano aerosol company. And for example, this, this is a new product which we're going to la uh, launch in 2019. Is it the closed system or? It's a closed system. So this is a nanoporous material printer where the generator here will be beneath here. And the only thing you have to do is add your substrate, choose the material you want, and the pattern, and then you can print. And you never see the nanoparticles. So, so you don't have you to have come the, in contact. So the, the table of, of uh, uh, elements, yes. right? And what do you do? You, you click, click, I want some aluminum or for something. Example, for example. And then... Example. <laughs> it shows the possibility. Yeah, but then you need to have the electrodes, yeah, yes, but it shows, it shows that the process is material agnostic. How do you put the electrodes? Like a liquid? Or what is it? No, no solid. You, just, you, just, uh, a bunch of you just turn them in. It will, it will take you five minutes to replace the electrodes. It's as simple as that. But if you have the electrodes, this system can print with that material. Electrodes? 
of, uh, of bulk gold. metal. Gold, it can also be copper, can be iron, can be zinc, can be nickel, can be doped silicon, as long as it's conductive and a solid. But electrode is something that's tiny, right? But how no, do you just no, put no, it not in? Not necessarily. How do you put it in? Um, I, uh, is it powder? No. No, just the what is bulk. It? Just bulk. Just bulk, yes. You fix it in. At what this moment, th th there's just a screw, so you screw it in. But we're also now developing a new new system where you can click them in. Wow. But that's that's engineering. That's not. The how do you come up with this? Is it like an invention? Nobody has. No, this? no, no. It's a spin-off from the University of Delft. So it, uh, it's from the Professor Smitot, and he has worked on it uh, for 30 years now, Whoa. about. And, uh, but a few, now it's becoming a machine. Few, yeah, no, yeah. So the technology, it's, it's spark ablation technology. It's what? Spark ablation. That's the technology to, to turn the bulk material into nanoparticles. And uh, uh, um, it, it's widely used in the universities. But a few years ago, the professor had the idea, hey, maybe we should make a commercial company out of this. And together with a PhD student and a master student, they three founded this company. And now we're three to four years old. And we have now our commercial uh, nanoparticle generator. And now we're taking the next step in also incorporating deposition into the whole leap, into turning into a, to a full nano aerosol process technology company where we do the generation, the characterization and filtering and the deposition of nano aerosols and working with nano aerosols resulting in very pure layers and very interesting nanostructured layers which we can print in a wide range of materials. What's going to happen in the future then? It's going to be just like uh, printing mo uh, like full motherboards? Yeah, high, that could, high, that very, could, yes, very yes, nano, that. nano scale. You're talking nano. You say nano. Maybe. Nah, at this moment, so the spot size is a, is a, is a, is a hundred micron. We know we can go down to ten microns. But what you can also do, you can take the material because it's so sensitive to heat. You can pattern it. For example, take laser writing, and you can locally pattern the material, and it will melt locally. For example, for light, this, uh, the resolution is about. Uh, one micron, 600 nanometers, so you can make these structures and remove the other material and then you can make even smaller patterns. But for an, in an additive way, additive manufacturing way, we're now aiming with this system to 100 micron. But we know there are techniques to go down to 10 micron. And 10 micron allows for what? Very advanced electronics? Well, the most advanced would be the, the, the upper distribution layers on CPUs, but uh, also uh, for PCB boards it would be already very, very even interesting. Even the most advanced PCB board for like a smartphone? Or no? Not uh, that, that, not that, that, that I'm not sure what the, the, the feature size is there. Maybe, yes. Is it expensive to, to uh, print your kind of thing? It's not necessarily expensive. Uh, it, it wouldn't beat the, the, the cheapest options, but uh, there are interesting niche markets where our material has a superior performance or it has a certain functionality which is better compared to other materials. But this system is also aimed at this moment also for research because it's really, really easy to replace the electrodes and the fact that the, system, that the process is material agnostic. It's easy, so one day you use gold, a few hours later you want to use copper. And normally if you do a wet chemical synthesis of nanoparticles, it takes weeks and weeks to find a new recipe uh, to make these particles, but here it takes five minutes to replace the electrodes and the system works again. What is this? It looks like a little window or something. It's a window, so when this system runs, you can see the sparks happening nice. in the window. Safely. We, safely, exactly, but at this moment the system is not connected. So. How much does this cost and how much does that cost? This costs about around 60,000 euros. 60,000? So it's not cheap, but it's also yeah. not very expensive. And, this? and that system, we still need to see what the price is. This be. discussion, on the discussion you say. Well, do you say how much? No, we no. still need to see what the we price is going to out. be. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, so is there a lot of demand for this? Yeah, so we, we, a lot of people are really enthusiastic. So the first uh, most logical application is people that already know how to work with nano aerosols. Uh, so, for example, people looking at exhaust at cars, they need to measure the particles of diesel cars, for example, and then such a system, it, it, it outputs a predefined distribution of particles so they can check their machines, for example. So Volkswagen will buy a few? Uh, we don't know, maybe. Okay, I'm joking. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but what we found out in the last few years is that people, they want also these particles on substrates because then you can make the porous layers or you can deposit single nanoparticles or a layer of single nanoparticles and uh, there there is a really really big uh, question uh, demand and that's why we're developing these systems for the deposition and want to do and the generation of deposition of nano aerosols how soon is ready 2019
That but soon. That's quite soon. But this summer we will bring out uh, small modules where you can, if you have the system, connect it to that system and also do small scale deposition experiments. But this is going to be the full fledged system where you don't have to worry about anything anymore. So, how was the ID Tech X show? It was interesting. A lot of different people. Uh, most were interested and they, uh, they will take the idea to their company and think about it a bit more because that's one of the big problems. This is a fully new technology, so people need to get used. However, there were a few people that really, within a few sentences, exactly understood and they said, hey, but then you can do this. And we said, yes. And then they were really, really enthusiastic. So hopefully uh, that will turn into a sale quickly, but we'll see. So it could be a big deal in the future, what you're doing. Yeah, well, we hope, we hope. That's why we're, start, we're, we're, we're running this company.